they will log in to whatever their handheld or communication system is in order to find out what's going on in the university, what's happening on their course, uh, what the program is for the next next week, what they're going to be expected to, to deliver. They will probably spend quite a lot of their time working at their home base, travel in when they need to meet a member of staff. I don't think anybody's ever found a, a proper substitute for having somebody face to face that you can interact with. But a lot of learning that students do don't actually need that face to face. <coughs> in, 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 in the lecture group, I think there will still be a place for the big lecture, the celebrity lecture, if you like. Because I suspect we're also going to move to an era where students increasingly define their own curriculum, um, what they want, or whether they want, actually, even whether they want a full degree, or whether they want parts of a degree, which they, okay, they may accumulate credit and cash it in later. Open source, students will have much more access to, to ideas and information being presented by, well, as we already see, at Stanford and Harvard and Oxford and, and the Open University is now open sourcing their material and I'm sure we'll all be doing that. But then somebody's got to help the student through this great morass of, I'll say data rather than information, a huge amount of bits of stuff coming at them. How do they make sense out of that? How do they balance up the views of one person from another, or one university from another? And I think that's actually where the role of the teacher is going to be much more an intermediary between the student and this huge uh, range of material they can get access to, to help them to find their way through that, to develop their own ideas and their own way of thinking, their own way of making decisions. Otherwise, it become terribly mechanized and you have a single syllabus, and everybody follows the same thing, you see an awful Orwellian sort of approach to this. I don't think we're going down those road, that road, but you always have to have that in the back of your mind.